Hello, and welcome to a very special and amazing episode of Super Cosplay Battle Royale, where we'll be making sweets. I'm Etna, your beautiful host. Um, excuse me, I'm talking right now. Watch your mouth. Watch as a cooking battle begins that'll shake the very Earth's foundation with a pinch of murderous intent. But this is my cooking show! Hi, I'm Princess MT. And I'm Sewing Savage Cosplay. And she's my special guest for today. Today we're cosplaying Swan and Etna from my favorite game, Disgaea. It's actually my favorite game too. Oh, it's so Love good! I love that game. I've spent over 100 hours in that game. <laughs> So with Halloween right around the corner, the netherworld is bustling with excitement! Getting ready for one big party! I'm so excited! Meanwhile, while Harl is sulking in his room, because with everyone getting ready for the festivities, he has no one to pay attention to him. So I thought we would make him some sweets to cheer him up! Not that I actually care about cheering Harl up, but if there's sweets involved, I'm definitely in. So today, we're going to be showing you how to make cake pops! So I was gonna make angel food cake for this, but Edna stole it, like she steals everything. And I replaced it with devil's food cake. But it's okay, because even angels have a little bit of devil inside. <laughs> so go ahead and buy a box cake mix and bake it according to your instructions. It's nice to do it the night before, like I did, because you want it to be nice and cool for your cake box. So go ahead once you have your cake and divide it into four quarters. Oh, it's nice and soft. Like human flesh. <laughs> That's awful. Oh, you laughed though. I did. Go ahead and take two of the quarters, and you're just gonna wanna rub them against each other until all your cake is crumbled up. So, the next step is you're gonna want to add frosting. The trick here is not to add too much. Um, for a full batch like this, uh, I've heard about half a container of frosting works, half to three-fourths. I can eat this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but don't use all of it by any means. You just want enough so that the, the cake pops start to like, stick together. Stick together. Go ahead and take a couple of them out to work with, 
and put the rest in the refrigerator. Um, so now we're gonna take our stick. Um, aha! Aha! Um, but you're supposed to use lollipop sticks, but um, I found these first and they're actually paper straws, so I thought they would work. Let's <laughs> um, hope. They're probably fine, they seem pretty sturdy. And also, I didn't have enough of them, so I cut them all in half. So they're super tiny. You're gonna wanna go ahead and dip your sticks into your candy melts, and then stick it about halfway through. And then, you're gonna wanna put them in some styrofoam. This is really good tea. I know how to make good tea. <laughs> so, once you have your cake pops uh, in your styrofoam, go ahead and put them in the fridge for some period of time. How long? So, when your cake pops have refrigerated for just a little bit longer, go ahead and you're going to want to dip them in your white chocolate again. Um, and just dip, dip it straight down. Perfect. So if you're gonna use some sprinkles to decorate, you're gonna wanna go ahead and do that while uh, they are still wet. Come on, love! Oh, love is everywhere! Oh no! Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for 